As wet its pants, begging King Charles, as Parliament rushed through his plan to strip the Duke of COS role, snub. After claiming that titles didn't matter to her, Meghan has since changed her mind and decided that she wants her entire family to have the royal titles. Harry and Meghan are very, very keen to cling on to their royal titles, the royal expert Neil Sean had told the Daily Express. After much deliberation, Meghan decided that the titles would be a good thing, not just for her, but for both her children too. As Meghan reportedly had this change of heart, becoming close to her husband, Princess Harry, cousins, Princess Beatrice, and Princess Eugenie. However, Meghan's plan will not come true, as they may not only gain titles, but also lose their role as the Council of State, and Harry no longer had any chance. Recently, it is reported that King Charles's master plan to sideline Prince Andrew and Prince Harry, and make Princess Anne and Prince Edward councillors of state is being rushed through. Government minister today introduced legislations to the House of Lords to allow the monarch's sister and youngest brother to act in its place, undertaking the legal and constitutional duties of the sovereign, if he is abroad or ill. The monarch's intention was announced in a signed message read to the House of Lords by Lord Chamberlain, Lord Parker of Miss Mayer who is the most senior official in the royal household. In writing to the House of Lords, the new king said he would be most content if the number of councillors of state would be increased to include my brother and sister, the Princess Royal and Earl of Wessex, the son reported. To ensure the continued efficiency of the public business when I'm unavailable, such as while I'm undertaking official duties overseas, I confirm that I would be most content should the Parliament see fit for the number of people who may be called upon to act as councillors of state under the terms of the Regency Act of 1937 to 1963 to be increased to include my sister and brother, the Princess Royal and the Earl of Wessex and Forfar, both of whom have previously undertaken this role. It comes after an ongoing question were raised over Prince Andrew and Prince Harry still holding the roles despite no longer being working royals. Before, according to the Telegraph, King Charles wanted to amend the law to remove the three. However, it seemed that he had changed a heart. He had opted not to remove his brother and his son from their official duties, to reportedly avoid embarrassing them further. Royal biographer Angela Levin said that King Charles' decision to allow the Prince Royal and the Earl of Wessex to deputise for him when he cannot fulfil the official duties is a snub to Prince Harry that will make him and Meghan furious. But he lives in California. He has stopped being a working royal, so why should he be a councillor of state? There is an opinion that before, during and after Mexit, I read comments on the Express articles to know what the real people in the UK thought of the unfolding drama. Over and over, people had said, Harry has lost the plot. Post-interview, post-mansion, etc. The tide seems to be completely against him, and the comments are mostly spoiled. Arsehole, never returned to England, with lots of Harry abandoned his duty, country, and king. If Harry comes clean in the book, and alludes to his choice in his wife, being hasty, and made in depression, after losing all the women he had loved, he admits that his own shortcomings, regarding the critical decision, making and expressing love, and respect for his family, can be went back some of the people in the UK. But I think that Harry is getting further and further away from being able to redeem himself. I cannot see him ever being warmly welcomed back, as no one is ever going to fulfill and trust him again, so he'll always be kept at arm's length, if at all 